Hey, what's going on, everybody? So I've been reviewing all of the Marriott credit cards from both American Express and Chase as they've both added brand new Marriott credit cards to their lineup, as well as made changes to all of their other cards except the no annual fee Bonvoy Bold card. I've already reviewed the Bonvoy Brilliant and the Bonvoy Bevy over on the Amex side of the house, as well as the Bonvoy Bountiful over at Chase. Today, we're going to wrap things up with these Marriott cards by going over the updates made on the Bonvoy Boundless card, which has an annual fee of $95. I'm personally a fan of the Marriott brand as well as some of their credit cards and have used Marriott points in both North and South America, Europe, as well as Africa. But let's go ahead and dive into the Marriott Bonvoy Boundless card to see if you can find value in it for your situation. So starting with the sign up bonus, at the time of recording this video, you're going to earn three free night awards after spending $3,000 on the card in the first three months of account opening. Each free night award is valid for a one night hotel stay with a redemption level of up to 50,000 points. Marriott points are valued at around 0.8 cents per point. So three award nights valued at 50,000 points each comes out to 150,000 Bonvoy points. At 0.8 cents per point, 150,000 points would be worth about $1,200. Now that's if you do some research and try to get max value by staying at properties with a redemption level of 50,000 points per night. Of course, if you use your award nights on properties that only cost 30,000 points per night, then these three nights definitely aren't valued at $1,200, so keep that in mind. Anyway, next, let's take a look at the point earning categories on this card. First, you're going to earn 6 points per dollar spent at Marriott Hotels, on top of the 11 points per dollar spent you earn for being a Marriott Bonvoy member with Silver Elite status, which you get just for having this card. Next, you're going to earn 3 points per dollar spent at grocery stores, gas stations, and on dining, including takeout and delivery, on up to $6,000 in combined purchases each year. Also, you'll earn 2 points per dollar spent on everything else. So they're definitely rewarding members with a gang of points for staying at their properties. But capping their 3x categories at $6,000 per year isn't good at all. Definitely a bad move for Chase and Marriott. Next, let's take a look at the ways you can redeem your Marriott Bonvoy points. So as you can imagine, the ideal way to redeem your points is towards hotel stays with Marriott. This is where you're going to get the most value from your Bonvoy points generally. The redemption rate here is going to be around 0.8 cents per point typically, but I've definitely found some even better hotel redemptions in places like Uganda and Colombia for example, so make sure you're doing your research because there are some sweet spots everywhere. You can also transfer your Marriott points to one of 40 airline transfer partners, but at a 3 to 1 ratio, which is pretty bad. Next, Marriott will add 5,000 miles for every 60,000 miles you transfer to airline partners, so they are trying to make up for that terrible transfer ratio. You can also use your Bonvoy points to receive higher room upgrades, hotel and airline packages. You can gift your points to friends and family, donate your points to support disaster relief efforts, and also purchase merchandise with them. Lastly, you can also use your points to book what's called Marriott Bonvoy Moments, which is a pretty cool program where you can use your points to book tour buses, sporting events, and other different types of experiences. Next, let's look at the different benefits that come with the Bonvoy Boundless. First, you're going to get complimentary Silver Elite status, which is Marriott's lowest elite status but can still bring you some value. You get things like priority late checkout, which is great if you have a late flight or you just don't want to check out at noon. You'll also earn 10% more points on stays, which can add up very quickly. If you weren't a card holder, it would take you at least 10 stays per year to get this elite status, so it does move you ahead a little quicker. Alright, moving on, you're going to earn one free night award every year after your account anniversary, with a redemption level of up to 35,000 points. To me, this free award night benefit is a big deal, because if you already stay at Marriott Properties at least once per year, this benefit alone could cover the annual fee, making this a card you can keep forever. Next, you'll receive 15 Elite Night credits each year just for being a card holder. You're going to earn one Elite Night credit towards status for every $5,000 you spend on the card, and you're also going to get gold status if you spend $35,000 on the card in a year. I definitely wouldn't spend $35,000 in a year on this card. I'd rather put that spend on earning new sign-up bonuses on other cards, or on a card whose point currency is more flexible, like maybe the Chase Freedom Unlimited or City Double Cash for example. Lastly, this card has no foreign transaction fees, which makes it a good card to use when traveling internationally. The card also has a partnered benefit. You're going to get a one-year complimentary Dash Pass membership that provides unlimited deliveries with $0 delivery fees. After your one year is up, you'll automatically be enrolled in the Dash Pass at the current monthly rate. Nothing spectacular, but the card does have some decent benefits. 
Next, let's take a look at the protections and insurances that come with this card. As you can see, the coverages are decent also. You're going to get baggage delay insurance, lost luggage reimbursement, trip delay reimbursement, purchase protection, and visa concierge service. All in all, this is one of my favorite hotel chains, and I definitely see how people who stay at least a few times a year could benefit from the Bonvoy Boundless. But if you don't already stay at Marriott properties each year and you're not loyal to the hotel chain, then maybe something like the Hotels.com program or one of the big mid-tier credit cards from a bank that has a travel portal might be a better option. To review some of those cards, you can check out the link on the screen. Or if you want to check out some other Marriott options, I'll leave those links as well. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.